Hello, this is Purple Rosa and I'm continuing on with the Elsewhere Prologue quest. I was up to talking to the first moon singer in the Red Fur trading post. It's good that they've brought Abnathan back. We first met him, as I said, in the main story quest, but from memory Abnathan was more well, he was helpful, but not really in the main story. It's nice to see him a bit different. Because he does want to help end the Three Banners War. And I am with him on that. Unzari said, not by myself, foul demon. I shall gather a Krajun, a company of heroes. Starting with the Altmer, Nurarian the Perfect who communes among the buried roots of the alien worms. These are the words, and the words are true. So this is Azago, one of the moon singers. This one recognizes a lover of stories when he sees one. Care to hear another tale? Dagaral Dro sent me. I need to learn the story of Kunza Ri and the demon. Old Grandfather sent you. Interesting. This one can only tell you what he knows, and Azargo only knows the beginning of the story. That is the way of things concerning the great stories and the secrets they hold. Are you sure you want to hear it? So, the Khajiit we talked to before is the Old Grandfather. Makes sense now. Yes, please tell me the beginning of the story. In the time before time, when the Sixteen Kingdoms were barely more than Sixteen Tribes, the great hero Kunzari went on many adventures. After Kunzari defeated the giant Droll by consuming 401 moon sugar pies, he met a demon. That's a lot of moon sugar pies. A demon like a Daedra? No. A different kind of demon. Now be quiet and listen. The demon said, My brothers and I shall take this land and its treasures, even the moons from the sky. Kunzari objected, but the demon laughed. You cannot stop us, little cat thing. What did Kunzari do? Kunzari said, Not by myself, foul demon. I shall gather a Krajun, a company of heroes. Starting with the Altmer, Nurarian the Perfect, who communes among the buried roots of the alien worms. These are the words, and the words are true. Thank you, Moonsinger. Interesting. Ah, oh, there's Abnathan again. What an interesting story. Yes. If only I could shake my shadow as easily as Kunzari does, well, anything. At least now I know where to find the first triangulant. The first triangulant? Yes, the triangulant. The first reference point that will allow us to use the map and locate the weapon. We must proceed with caution, however. My unknown follower utilizes a magic I cannot penetrate. I need to conserve my energy, just in case. So where do we need to go to find the first triangulant? The location was spelled out in the Moonsinger's story. The verse concerning Nurarian the Perfect. It's as clear as the sky on a cloudless day. Among the buried roots of the Aeliad Worms. It refers to a place I know well. Wormroot Depths. I explored Wormroot Depths. Perhaps, but I have no doubt the secret the Khajiit left behind escaped your notice. While your familiarity with the ruin will be a benefit, do not grow complacent. We must be ready for anything. I will meet you at the ruins after I evade my shadow. I'll meet you inside Wormroot Depths. So Wormroot Depths is a delve, I think. I oh, yep, just up here. As I said to Abnathar before, I've already been there. But if you haven't, the dialogue will probably be a bit different. So let's make our way over there. So that was an interesting story. I know what the 
demons are, but, well, we all should know from the trailers, but just in case, I'm not going to mention it. Oh, so I'm already up there. It's been a while since I've been to this zone, so bear with, bear with me. Yeah, this is really getting into the Khajiit law. And I'm all about the law. I love the Elder Scrolls law. Okay, so Abnasan's ah, with us. The distinctive smell of Daedric sorcery. It's as atrocious as it is pervasive. We're looking for anything that appears to be Khajiiti in origin. Perhaps a new addition or alterations to an existing structure. I still haven't pinpointed my shadow, so I'll be saving my energy for an emergency. Any lesser threats, I leave to you. I can handle it. After all, I defeated Moloch Ball. I helped Vivek. I stopped the Daedric attack on Somerset. I can handle myself. <laughs> um, so we gotta go. There's obviously a hidden door up that way. Your technique seems adequate, if a bit unrefined. Ah! How dare you! But that's classic Zahn. Even if my technique is unrefined, gets the job done. If I wasn't preserving my power, we'd be done by now. Ugh, Thorn. You're glad I like you. <laughs> so, the secret doorway is over here. Very secret. You wouldn't even know that that was a door. Okay, interesting. This is Khajiit, all right. Oh well. Wow. I'm not sure what I expected, but it certainly wasn't this. Yeah. Let me get a better view. The ancient Khajiiti really want us to work to uncover the triangulant. That's pretty. What is it? Ah, this will be a puzzle. Yes, I haven't done this, so I get to work mm. it out. Examine the moons on each statue. I will. Moon Guardian? Huh. So I've got to... What's this? Kuzari and the Full Moons. This is probably a clue. Fascinating. It must have something to do with the direction of the light. When Joan and Joad in their fullness face the empty sky, Kunzari will see the path to knowledge. 
These are the words and the words are true. Okay, so when Joan and Joan, in their fullness, face the empty sky. So Joan and Joan. According to the poem, the full moons and the new moons are the key. Are in their full. Disrupted in my train of thought there. When Joan and Joan in their fullness face the empty sky. Joan and Joan. I guess that's full. Face the empty sky. Face the empty sky. Ah, oh, this one. Huh. So I'll turn this one off. Pretty ingenious for a bunch of ancient cats. Why don't you see what's in the chest before we head to the Bandari trading post? So yeah, in their full... So the poem said, when Joan and Joan in their fullness face the empty sky. So that's... F they're both full there. But this one is not full. And when I saw this one, they're full, so it makes sense that those two would open that one. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. I'm coming. So yeah, that was a easy puzzle. You just gotta think it over. Most puzzles in ESO do have clues, so you just gotta work them out. And most of them are easy. <laughs> so find the moon singer at the Badari trade post here. That's the next step. I'm really enjoying this quest so far. Kunzari said, because two shall become three annoying demons. As soon as this one rescues Flynn-filled Demon Hunter from the alien lair of creeping ebony plants. These are the words, and the words are true. Ms. Bina hopes that you and your friend enjoyed this story. Is there anything else that this one can do for you? I like her outfit. Looks really nice. Might be one that we get in the future. Dagaril Dro sent me, I need to learn the story of Kunzari and the demon. The lore master? Ah, this one hasn't talked to him in a long time. Miss Bina only knows the second part of the story. That is how the moon singers maintain the secrets of the great tales. Would you like to hear the story again? Yes, please tell me your part of the story. In the time before time, when the sixteen kingdoms were young and like kittens at play, the great hero Kunzari gathered the company of champions to combat the demon and his brothers. They had come to elsewhere to steal the moons from the sky. That sounds ominous. Ominous? Oh, indeed! With Nurarian already at his side, Kunzari turned his attention to the next champion he planned to recruit. The power of the moons will be ours, little cat thing, taunted the demon. How can two possibly hope to stop many? What did Kunzari do? Kunzari said, because two shall become three, annoying demon. As soon as this one rescues Flynn-filled demon hunter from the alien lair of creeping ebony plants. These are the words, and the words are true. Thank you, Moonsinger. Interesting. So yeah, her outfit is pretty cool. There's a book here. Ah, so... I must have missed getting the book from the first storyteller. Here's Abnathan. 
You know, the legend of Kunzari is more interesting than I remember. It must be moon singer Ms. Bina's delivery, marginally entertaining. She made the location of the next triangulant quite clear to one of exceptional intellect, such as myself. So you figured out where the next triangulant for the map can be found? Of course. Only the nearby Black Vine ruins could be referred to as the alien lair of creeping ebony plants. I never cared for carnivorous vegetation. I'll meet you in the ruins after I make one more attempt to catch my elusive stalker. Someone is still following you. Yes, and with brazen impunity. I almost caught my stalker here at the trading post before they slipped away in the crowd. They're like an insect buzzing around my head that I can't quite swat. Someone with that level of power concerns me greatly. Well, good luck with that. I'll meet you inside Black Vine Ruins. I think I know who his stalker is. Pretty sure I do. So, Black Vine Ruins is just outside. Yeah, these Khajiit stories are really interesting. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the river. There's the anchor going on right over there. The Khajiit moon singers went to a great deal of effort to separate and hide their clues, but I feel like we're getting closer. You think? Try not to let the carnivorous plants consume you. Getting eaten by mostly stationary creatures doesn't help one's reputation. Or so I've heard. <laughs> Classic darn. Okay, so... Locate the secret in the ruins. Another hidden door. So I'll go down and I'll take the shortcut. Yeah, from the clues and hints they've given us through the articles and that on their website, I think I know who the stalker is. There's another book that I've missed in here as well. There's one of these plants. I was hoping he would say something, but he didn't. Where did you learn to fight? Shad Astula Academy? No. I did go there, though. <laughs> For a brief time. But that's a good question. But when we made our character, we already knew how to fight. But you can make that up if you have a backstory for your character. So, another Khajiit hidden temple here. Wonder what puzzle this one will have. Ah, another prism puzzle. At least the ancient Khajiiti were consistent. So let's read this tablet. Examine that stone plaque, will you? Any clue will be helpful. 
Sometimes knowledge can only be found in the dark. The fading moon gives way to the empty sky. Dark fading moon. Let's see. The dark fading moon. Let's see the other one over here. Knowledge can only be found in the dark. Could that refer to the new moons? Maybe. We'll turn off that one. And put on these two. Let's just try it. Oh, there's one over here. So let's activate this dark one. Does that work? No. Ignore any statues displaying a full moon, I think. Okay. Let me read it again. Sometimes knowledge can only be found in the dark. The fading moon gives way to the empty sky. Turn off that one. I think I need the dark one here. Adequately done. There we go. Now, collect the triangulant and let's be on our way. Just got to think it through. <laughs> Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. I know. So now we're in Rolka. So this other moon singer just over there. This one was very pleased to hear. So the first puzzle had the two full moons. Second one had the half and the full. I wonder. Then Kunzari turned to the rest of his Krajun. One more we need. A Kajiti queen of renown. A Nequina sharp tongue. Who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. These are the words, and the words are true. Back to her enthusiasm, eh? Satari is new to the art of storytelling, so forgive her if she isn't as interesting as she should be. She will improve. Of this she is sure. Well, you sounded fine. The Garil Dro sent me I need to learn the story of Kunzari and the demon. Old grandfather, the Lord Master? Satari has heard of him, but has never met him. She was made a moon singer by the previous storyteller to guard the third part of that ancient tale. Since you arrived so late, should Satari tell the story again? Yes, please tell me part of the story. In the time before time, when the sixteen kingdoms roamed with wild abandon, the hero, Kunzari, gathered champions to deal with a terrible demon and his horde. With Norerian the Perfect and Flintfield Demon Hunter, he sought a third companion. Who was the third companion? Patience! Satari is getting to that part. The demon said, Oh, little cat thing, you amuse us. How can three tiny morsels ever stand against us? Kunzari laughed. Ha! We may be tiny, but we are persistent and tricky too, as you will see. What did Kunzari do? Then Kunzari turned to his Krajun. One more we need. A Kajiti queen of renown. A Nequina sharp tongue who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. These are the words, and the words are true. 
Thank you, Moonsinger. Interesting. So there's me, while well, there's our character, Abnathan, and the third person we need. This new Moonsinger shows a modicum of promise, but she hasn't yet reached her full potential. Still, the story was interesting, and it points us toward the final triangulant required to make use of the map. You know where the final triangulant is located? Oh yes. The Moonsinger made it quite clear. Her tail points to an old shrine not far from here known as Jode's Light, the big moon referenced in the story. Once we collect the final triangulant, I'll be able to use the map to find the weapon. How do I know you're really going to use the weapon to end the war? Still don't trust me. Neither do I. <laughs> I know what I'm capable of. I'm no better than the fools that lead the alliances. That's why we'll only use the weapon to get them to the negotiating table. Diplomacy works best when facilitated by a big stick. <laughs> if you say so, I'll meet you at Joe's Light. So, Joe's Light. is up there. Okay. See, the third person to join us, or well, the third NPC to join us on this journey, I'm sure we will meet them soon. But I already know who it is, or who it will be. So now we're at Joe's Light and a moment, traveler. We need to talk. There she is, Kamira. Been looking forward to meeting her after reading the article they had about her on the website. Please, a moment of your time. I need to speak to you about Abner Thorn. I really like her outfit. Suits her. You're the one that's been following him, aren't you? My intentions are honorable, I assure you. I am Kamira, agent for the Speaker of the Main. When we learned about Abner Thorn sought the same weapon as Euraxia, the Speaker sent me to intervene. Who's Euraxia? Euraxia Tarn, Abnur's cruel half-sister. She conquered my home city of Rimen and proclaimed herself its queen. If she gets her hands on the weapon, Elsewhere's suffering will increase a thousandfold. Abner never mentioned that his sister was involved. I do not think they get along. From my observations, Abner seeks the weapon for peaceful ends, but this is a delusion. It is too powerful, too evil. We must convince Abner to find the weapon before Euraxia does and destroy it. That is the only way. Who's the speaker of the main? That would be my master, Garashri. The main can't be everywhere. So Garashri travels and speaks for the main. Brrr. I suppose you could say I am the speaker's speaker. At least, I am his eyes and ears in this situation. I love the purring noises they've given her. And who's the main? A new main was recently selected. Shaza is now the spiritual leader of the Kajiti. If you haven't done the Reaper's March quest yet, the dialogue here might be different. How many agents like you does the main have in Tamriel? Oh, such a question. You do not really expect me to answer that, do you? I will say this, however. There is no one else in Tamriel quite like me. Why not talk to Abnasan directly about destroying the weapon? Tharn believes he knows best. He will not listen to me. 
I am not sure he will even accept your counsel. But you have to try. At first, I thought Tharn was working with Euraxia. From what I have seen, his mission of peace is sincere. Just misguided. Misguided in what way? In every way. How can something of such power be used safely to stop a war? It cannot. When you require a breeze, you do not summon a tornado. We must reach the item before Euraxia and then destroy it. That is the only option. How are you able to avoid Abnathan's detection? Are you always so direct with your questions? Yes. Oh, very well. Perhaps a bit of honesty will convince you of my intentions. Before my parents died, they gave me a pendant. It blocks all forms of magical detection. Ah, that's a powerful and unusual sort of gift. It helps me in my role as agent for the Speaker of the Main. And that is all I will say on this matter. We must focus on finding the item before Euraxia Tharn. I will help you do this, and then we will destroy it. Okay. So, yeah. I do like her character. Be interesting to see more of her to come. So she has an ancient... I find it fitting that the final triangulant awaits us in a Khajiiti ruin. So, Kamira has an ancient talisman that hides her from Abnasan. I wonder if it's like an alien relic or something else? I'm beginning to question my own magnificence, <laughs> if you can imagine such a thing. Despite multiple attempts, I still haven't been able to identify or catch the damnable prowler who has been following me. It's really becoming quite irksome. I met your shadow on the way here. Her name is Kamira. She's an agent of the Speaker of the Main. A Khajiit? Why would the Speaker of the Main send a powerful wizard to hound me so? I don't think she's a mage. She wants to help us get the weapon before Araxia Tharn. My half-sister? They're aware of her interest in this? Hmm. But why didn't this agent of the Speaker simply approach me directly? I would have gladly welcomed her assistance in this matter. She's afraid you'll bulk at her ultimate goal. She says the weapon's a danger and must be destroyed. Destroy my one chance to stop the Three Banners' War? Never. Don't tell me you agree with this nonsense. That we should allow the Dominion, Pact, and Covenant to continue to tear Tamriel apart? Do you want more people to die? Ah, huh, tough question. If finding the weapon gives us a chance to stop the Three Banners War, it's worth it. If the weapon is dangerous, as Kamira says, maybe we should destroy it. Both sides are worth doing, but... Because at this stage we think it's an actual weapon that will help. Because a powerful weapon in the wrong hands can do great damage. And... If it stops the Three Banners War, I guess it's worth it, but... I think I might side with Chimera on this one. That we should destroy it. Because there's always another way that the Three Banners War can end. I'm sorry, Sean, I'm with Chimera on this one. I'm gonna say, if the weapon is as dangerous as Chimera says, maybe we should destroy it. That's fear talking. We can end a terrible war if we get to the weapon before my despicable half-sister. I shall see this through. I have to. I'd appreciate your help, but I can't force you. We can discuss destroying the weapon after we end the war. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that either. Use the weapon to end the war, and then destroy it after. I never thought of that. I agree we need to get the weapon before Araxia. Let's go find the last triangulant. Okay. Interesting. So, where's this secret room? Just over that way. Yeah. 
But yeah, now that we know Chimera's interest in destroying the weapon, her help will be valuable. Let's go. Wonder what this puzzle will be like. <gasps> There's some urns. Actually, what does Tharn say? Whether this Chimera agrees to work with us or not doesn't really matter. Is this ancient weapon any more dangerous than the ongoing war? I sincerely doubt it. Let's find the last triangulant and see where the map takes us. Oh, uh, it will be. It will be. Because it's not a weapon. But I didn't say anything. <laughs> With luck, we'll gather the last triangulant and be done with ancient ruins. But yes, I'm. I know it's not a weapon, but I'm just. Because our character doesn't know that it's not a weapon, so I'm just role playing that. So I wonder how this puzzle works. Let's read the tablet. When Kunza re. Mirrored full saw the lions glared other across sky. This one's gonna be hard to do. Mirrored full. Hmm. Some of the words have been chipped away. See what you can make of it. I'm trying. Mirrored full lions glared. Lions glared. Huh. Let's go up here. Mirrored full lion's glad. Mirrored full. I think I understand. Do I activate them all? Some of these moon tiles are identical. Try different combinations of the mirrored pair. I'm going to activate them all, because I think that's what it means. If not, we'll fix it up. Oh. Let's try that. No. Okay, so let's read the tablet again. Mirrored full. Mirrored full. Saw the lion's glad. Other. The lions glared at each other across the night sky. Lions glared at each other. That's what I think that is. Mirrored full. So I gotta do the full moons. It's cool, we're working it out. Mirrored full. So maybe that one. That one's full. Turn off that one because it's not full. Turn on this one and that one. Please be right. No. So turn off that one. Mirrored full. I'm going to turn off this other one. There we go. So mirrored full. So the two full. We got it. 
Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. So now we're in Grotwood. Ah, oh, okay, so we're at the gate up here. So that's elsewhere there. Let's do it! I'm excited! Once you know where to look, the location becomes perfectly obvious. Come, let's talk. There's the Wrath Stone. I would really love if the Wrath Stone was a furniture item for our house. Would have been cool if they gave us it. So let's talk to Tharn. With your assistance, we gathered the three triangulants that allowed me to decipher the map formed by the Wrathstone Tablet. I now know that the demon weapon resides in the Halls of Colossus, along the southern coast of Elsewhere. The Halls of Colossus? An ancient structure whose purpose and origin is clouded in legend. Some believe it contains the Dwarven Numidium, which could be the weapon we seek. I've chartered a wagon to get us to the coast. Then a boat will take us the rest of the way. I wonder if Chimera will continue to follow us. Honestly, I don't give a skeever's ass. I hope she, she does. She may have been able to track me when I wasn't attempting to conceal our movements, but I made sure to... Hmm. It appears this Chimera is more capable than I anticipated. Yes! She found us, didn't she? Yep. The Halls of Colossus? Arrogant Imperial, without my assistance, you will never survive that place. Away with you, cat. It falls upon me to end this accursed war. So you can declare yourself Emperor? I think not. I will accompany you to find and destroy the weapon. Emperor has never been my ambition. Join us if you want. Just don't get in my way. Cool. The halls of Colossus and a demon weapon. By Joan and George, no good can come from any of this. I will help you find the item and make sure Euraxia does not attain it. But then it must be destroyed. That is the only option. Okay, sir. Surprisingly clever, those ancient Khajiiti. An old tablet, oral histories disguised as fables, and sophisticated triangulant tiles, all pointing to one location, the Halls of Colossus. The abhorrent Three Banners War is practically over. And you're all right with Chimera accompanying us? The cat can do as she pleases. Based on the skills she has already demonstrated, however, I'm not averse to having her along. Just realize that I plan to utilize the weapon despite her protestations. Now take this, for your efforts. Thank you. The Halls of Colossus. A place as mysterious as it is ancient. I never imagined I'd have a reason to seek it out, let alone explore it. Let's hope the item we pursue lives up to my expectations. And that we reach it before my half-sister, Euraxia. When you have a moment, we should really discuss preparations for our journey. So that was really interesting getting the triangulants so we can go to the halls of the Colossus. I'm excited to get on and do that part of the quest but I'm going to end this one here and continue on in the next one. I will see you around. Thanks for watching.